Good evening, welcome on in to another episode of From Day One. Reverse counts this evening. Well, we have our soft sick Karens to be with us. With our good friend, Father Skeptic. Name, sir. My name is Carlos Lorenzo of the Family Durham. Hold on a second. Of the we Family know Durham. Carlos of the Durham family? I just covered him. My name is Carlos of the Durham family, and I'm here as executor. Of of the estate stupid. named in this matter. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So it turns out that Mr. Of the Durham family ignored his last court orders requiring him to show up to his next court date, so the police picked him up on a bench warrant to help him with his problems. Needless to say, he won't be missing any subsequent court dates. So let's begin. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Durham, for your patience, sir. And uh, on these matters, uh, the court is scheduling a pretrial February 14th. And this is in regards to case D1245821, August 25th, 2021. No dog license, same date, time, and location for B1245821, August 25th, 2021. Failed to vaccinate dog against rabies and provide proof of vaccination. Three additional matters. Uh, state your full name, Mr. Durham. Failed to go ahead and make your dog head the uh, right radio shot. For way formal reading and their plea of not guilty. Uh, Mr. Durham, the court scheduling a pretrial date on this matter via Zoom. You must attend February the 27th, 8.30 a.m., 36th District Court in front of Judge Bryant. Understood? Ooh, Bryant, that'd be fun. I hear you. Yeah, you're in custody, so obviously you can hear him. But that wasn't the question. The question was, do you understand? And given your predisposition to licking windows in lieu of going to your court dates, I believe it's very understandable for him to ask you if you finally get it. And this is a very serious non-assaultive allegation, Mr. Derriman. The court has concerns that you missed a court date on this matter, as well as two other matters that we're about to handle. In your capious history, Mr. Derriman, tells the court you do not listen to the court as ordered to At appear. All. And as concerning where if the court were to release you on another personal bond, or you treat it as you have in the past and disregard court's orders and simply not appear. And uh, that's unacceptable, Mr. Derriman. You must appear as ordered. So the court, based on your capious history, taking into consideration the information presented by counsel, including that limit to employment, status as relates to the ability to postpone the nature of the charge, as well as the information alleged in the investigator's report, is uh, setting, based on your KPS history, uh, a, uh, is going to continue out, the bond set by Judge Bryant of 110%. Uh, is that an affordable bond? Yes, sir. Okay, so on that matter, the court is setting an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing. I'm not here to shame anybody on their financial situation. But can you imagine being a sovereign citizen and ruining your life to the point that a $10 bill is considered unaffordable? It might be time for you to try a different flavor of paint. During this bond, you are not to purchase or possess a firearm or any dangerous whoa, whoa, weapon. Whoa, stop, stop, you stop, Your Honor. I'm sorry, you guys can't see this, but my sister nearly cracked up over the $10 bond. <laughs> Anything you want to tell them on that since you're cr just holding back from cracking up over there? She wants to keep tight lipped, even though she's he's close from busting out laughing because this guy can't afford a ten dollar bond. Or not to drive any motor vehicle unless you have a valid driver's license. Is that understood? Drive, Your Honor. I travel. And here comes the subject bullshit. I travel, so I don't need a license to travel. Oh, great. Another travel tart that thinks that driving a motor vehicle down a roadway is the exact same thing as walking his dumbass from cell block one to cell block three. Well, yes, you do, Mr. Darren. There's no, no, no traveling behind a motor vehicle. I'm not hurting you, Mr. Darren. Excuse me? I've already read the Supreme Court case law. I have a right to travel, sir. Okay, well, I have a right to impose bond uh, and, and conditions of bond, Mr. Darren, and I'm telling you. Whether you call it traveling or driving, there's to be none of that behind a motor vehicle. You're not to travel if you're operating a motor vehicle or drive. No driving or operating of a motor vehicle, regardless of what you call it. Understood, Mr. Durham? No driving or traveling if you're the operator. Is that clear? And you're not to leave the state of Michigan. Is that understood? I heard you. That's, That's not no an answer. Period. That's regardless of your license status. There to be absolutely no driving. Or travel. Okay, I said no traveling either. 
Driving is up. No traveling. No traveling, you moron. That means I can't even go to court if I can't travel. I can't leave my It's via Zoom. It's via Zoom. It's via Zoom. Zoom. No traveling. No, he said no traveling, traveling as the driver. I'm traveling unless you leave them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can. You get in a car to someone else's no, driving. I said you're doing it on the Zoom. Did you want to address this? Fucking make sure you're on the Zoom. That too. Counsel? Did you want to address his this argument that he can't, that he can travel? Uh, he's going to comply with court order. That means no driving and no traveling, is that correct? Counsel? No traveling. No traveling. Unless court order. Uh, yes, I can't leave the state of Michigan, and he cannot would he, uh, drive or travel, which it, it, well, my understanding is him operating any, any motor vehicle. Is that understood? Thank you. I really like this judge. He's like, fuck it. If you're too delusional to accept the fact that you're driving a car, then I'll just order no traveling and cover all the basis of your dipshittery. Okay, uh, Mr. Durham, uh, this is our very serious allegations. Again, you have a capious history on this matter. Uh, the bond was set by the judge when you failed to appear. You have a number of cages histories on this matter. It, it looks like you failed to, you were originally given a personal bond, then you failed to appear on about September 1st of Correct. 2022, given a 10,000 cash surety, and then you uh, uh, failed to appear again December 14th of 2022, Correct, and then yeah. a judge will give you another 10,000 cash surety. Uh, I, as your magistrate, as counsel stated, uh, have no, one moment, I'll let you address the court. One moment, Mr. Durham. Have no authority to uh, amend the KPS bond as set by the judge for your failure to appear. So for that reason, the bond is going to be continued as set by the judge of December 14, 2022, in the amount of $10,000 cash surety. Mm, During this dollars. bond, you are not to purchase or possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. No driving, no traveling, unless court ordered. You will be fit with the GPS tether under house arrest if you're able to make bond. And no use of any alcohol or illegal controlled substance. Aww. Is there anything further, counsel? No Mike's hard lemonade? Um, I would respectfully ask the court to consider the uh, tethering under the He's he's missed court identification. Oh, you're missed? He's he's missed court dead in every matter before the court this morning, so no. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I haven't. Anything? I didn't came to court a couple times on Zoom, on a tether. I didn't been to court. No, you haven't. But not uh, not all of the times it does not appear, Mr. Durham. It looks like you missed court more than once on that matter that we just handled. Anything else? Anything? More like six. The county jail. I missed court on the counter of the county jail. They wouldn't take me to court. I missed court because of the county jail. Liar. would not take me to court. That's not my fault. And of course it's not your fault, Carlos. And I'm sure it never is. I'm sure it's the state's fault for arresting you for missing your court dates. I'm sure it's the state's fault for requiring you to have a driver's license and not your fault for driving without one. And I'm sure you blame your intellectual disposition on the fact that your mother and father were brothers and not on your daily diet of crayons. But you know what they say, Carlos. When everyone around you is the problem then it's probably you who's the asshole. And Mr. Durham, the court has the same <laughs> concerns sir, that you've uh, had a capious on this matter as well as uh, the matters before the court previously, and that demonstrates to the court that you failed to appear as ordered, and that's concerning regarding your intention to appear and handle this matter. It looks like you're on a personal bond by the Honorable Magistrate Ramsey Heath, where you failed to appear on or about December 14, 2022, and a bond was issued at 10,000 cash surety. I, as a magistrate, has no authority to change that bond as set by the judge. So the bond is going to be continued, uh, taking into consideration any employment status presented by counsel as it relates to the ability to post bond, as well as your KPS history during this bond. No use of alcohol, no illegal controlled substance. You're not to purchase or possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. If you're able to make bond, you will be under uh, house arrest, fit with the GPS tether prior to release. What level, Your Honor? There's to be no driving and no traveling. Unless court ordered. You know, I kind of feel bad for Carlos of the Durham family because you can literally see him dying inside every time the judge reminds him that he can't do the one thing that he really wants to do, and that's travel. Okay, any questions or statements, Mr. Durham? You are being recorded. Anything you say can and will be used against you. And on that matter as well, you're getting an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing on January the 19th. 2023, Judge Sabree at the 36th District Court via Zoom. Do you have anything, any questions or statements, Mr. Durham? Yes, I do. This question is to the magistrate. 
Were you honoring your oath to the water? Oh, he's still going to try the sovereign bullshit here. Everything you say right now, that was your attorney speaking and giving you advice. But judge, the lawyer is obviously wrong thinking Carlos has to have a driver's license to drive a car, so what would she know? Carry on, dipshit. Are you honoring your oath, sir? I'm, I don't know what type of question that is, Mr. Durham, but you have any, uh, your counsel has indicated uh, you have a right to remain. Now you don't know what it means. You took a whole uphold the Constitution, didn't you? Are you honoring I don't your know oath? what the purpose. I don't know what the purpose. I'm not here to answer your questions. I can tell you that, Mr. Durham, as far as regarding questions that don't have anything to do with the arraignment. I'm not here to just answer random general questions that have nothing to do with your arraignment, Mr. Durham. So if you have any questions regarding the court date, please let me know. I want to know who you are. You won't tell me your name. You won't tell me if you're bonded. You're a public official. Are you bonded? Mr. You Durham, I'm not going through it. Mr. Durham, I'm not going through that, uh, the so nature of my uh, employment. you got to give me your bonding information, name, address, and your, your policy name so I can make sure you're adequately insured. Just in case you want to violate my rights, i got to make sure you're adequately insured. Are you a public official and are you insured? My name is Chief Magistrate Mr. Kerr. Thank you for that question. Regarding binding, Mr. Durham, that's not something that's going to be addressed today. So you're not going to put that on the record? I'm just not entertaining a question that makes no sense during the uh, arraignment, sir. It makes no sense to ask you if you're bonded. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Like he's Stop already eating paint. He's the judge, and you're the habitually absent from court fucktard. So he will not be acquiescing to any of your demands today. And what's your bonding information? That's that only happy, Mr. Durham. I'm bonded if that makes you happy, Mr. Durham. I have a valid, as indicated by statute. Mr. Durham, I'm not getting back and forth. Counsel, do you have anything further with Mr. Durham? I'm not the bonding company. Can I have any of that so I can contact him? I gotta be able to contact them. No, no, you know, I'm not. I, I gave you. I, 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 I let you know I was bonded. My name is Chief Magistrate Clerk at the 36th District Court. That's the biggest thing is to make sure. Okay, counsel, we just try anything first. Mr. Durham, I've said more than once. Uh, that's not. Uh, we're not going through that here today on the record. Uh, so, Mr. Durham, Judge, if you have any can questions about your arraignment or a uh, court date, otherwise. Uh, we're through with the arraignment. Counsel, do you have anything else for To give me the name of the bond company. Unless you have anything else, Mr. Durham. We're through with the arraignment. Amazing. Bye. Have a great time. Okay, guys. That's the end of the video. Following this video, Carlos had two more quick court dates, and then he has three more scheduled for a few weeks down the road. So our next video will cover his next two court appearances. And don't worry, Wayne County Jail corrected that little missing court problem that Carlos seems to have. And Carlos is not happy about it at all. So ah, that'll be fun when it happens. Oh, hold on. We have that. Hey guys, and welcome to today's yeah, video. For it. Today, we're heading back to the 36th District Court in Michigan to continue covering Carlos of the family Durham as he hits back-to-back -back court dates family, yep, with a yep. judge that ain't here to listen to any of his sovereign citizen American state national nonsense. So let's begin. Hey, we're on the record to the people versus Carlos Lorenzo Durham. Carlos Danger. Sorry, Case number 225974, count one. charged with and sure enough he's currently facing 
12 different charges, two of which are in relation to a felon in possession of a firearm. Today, today is set for a bond due determination hearing. Experiences. Good morning, Your Honor. Denisha Taylor calling P56278 on behalf of Mr. Miramon. Both matters for re bond re redetermination. And Mr. Durham, can you state your full name for the record, please? Charles Durham. Okay, well, at least we know that the Wayne County Jail is doing their job, and they've worn him down to the point that he's finally identifying himself as a normal human being, and has dropped the whole of the family Durham delusion. Thank you, and whenever you're ready, Attorney Taylor Coleman. Yes, Your Honor, as the court has before it, um, I believe Mr. Durham has a capious with this court, or maybe it was with Judge uh, Denise Bryant. Um, at this point, we'd ask for any cases to be recalled. Um, no. He is a resident of Detroit. He has uh, significant family contact. He is a moron. I'm looking up his investigation report. I've got. Well, I'm looking up the uh, sheet from misdemeanor felony defenders on his behalf. Long story short, we're asking for a personal bond with Tether. Um, and that he would reappear at all the court dates. Yeah, no. Really? Well, I'm going to need a slice of whatever peyote pizza you're eating if you're going to convince me that Carlos, of the family dipshit, is going to make all future court dates when, one, he, he truly believes already. that this court has no jurisdiction over him, and two, as per the last judge, he's an habitual absconder with a propensity to pretrial pain consumption. Well, we can mm -hmm. arrest the capius of December 14th, Mr. Uh, Durham. I'm sorry, what did you ask? I didn't hear the first part of your question. I'm asking how stupid do you think we are? That, well, not alleged. The capius of December 14th of 2022. Yes, uh, go right ahead. Uh, Mr. Durham, were you aware of that court date? He's in a fucking car. I didn't know they bombarded me with a bunch of court dates, and I kind of might have forgot it. Mr. So I'm not supposed to be driving in a fucking car. Okay, so you have 40 different cars with court dates on You essentially mixed up your court date. I think so. I if you listen, that click in the background is an actual turn signal. Come on, Judge. I only missed my court date because I got it confused with one of the other 40 that I have. You should just let me out. No, for your own good and the safety of the public, you should just stay your ass in jail. Like I said, I looked this guy up, and just in the month of February alone, he has six more court dates. So it looks like February will truly be the month of love for all of us, because we're going to love laughing at Carlos all month long. Okay. Would you reappear at all future court dates, Mr. North? No, of course not. That's not reappear. I appeared before. I was on Zoom. I was on the tether. I came to court. No, you didn't. Okay. Um, Your Honor, we believe that this was just a mistake, a one-time mistake. Mr. Try more like um, a six-time mistake. As the court mistake? can see in the register of action, Mr. Durham had appeared at previous court dates. No, you didn't. as stated, because of the number of court dates, he, uh, this one should go for the cracks, but he would reappear at all future court dates. These are non assaultive crimes. We're asking for a personal bond. Reinstate the bond. No. Uh, would the court consider any reduction at all? I don't know if Mr. Durham can post any m amount of money. Um, did, was there a change in your bond before Judge Bryant, Mr. Durham? What? I didn't hear you. Was there a change in your bond before Judge Bryant? Uh, yeah, it was a $10 bond. That's all it is. It's, it's a $10 bond. I'm here to get this bond reduced so I can get out of jail. And you have employment? I work for myself. Let me guess. Law offices of Durham, Durham, and Dumbass? Mr. Dumbass, I can bring a lot to Dumbass and Dumbass. I'm a go-getter. Dumbass material all the way. So, am I your man, Mr. Dumbass? The name is Dumas. Okay, so I'm still going to just keep it the same, Attorney Taylor Coleman. Uh, because of the cases on both cases, uh, I am going to wait until we 
gets the probable cause conference on the 25th, but the DSU report to determine whether or not I'm inclined to reduce the charge. I need him to show the court for something because we're back at the probable cause conference. I want you to listen up very carefully. Your next court date is January 25th. That is a Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. And a Thursday. And a Friday. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, he's an idiot. Okay, so you'll be zooming in from the county jail, and you'll have an attorney present to discuss with you any matters before we go on the record, okay? So show up for that. Okay, so that was the end of the first trial. Now, let's move on to the second trial, Sounds which took good. place two days later. And I don't know if it's the jailhouse crayons that they're feeding him, but every time we see Carlos, he's a little bit more colorful. Today is no different. Yeah, half crazy. Okay, gentlemen, we've got a gentleman who just sat down about five minutes ago. Can you state your name for the record, please? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and state your name for the record. Okay, and state your name for the record, please. Yes, your name. Yeah. Your name. My name is Carlos Lorenzo. His name is stupid. Name person, the person, the third. That paper, which is an all capital name, all capital letters. That's a corporation, and I'm not claiming to be him, but I'm here to well, represent. We're back to being the stupid bullshit from the stupid. Corporation. I'm not a corporation. I'm not dead. I'm not a fictitious entity. So I'm not claiming to be whoever name you have on that paper, which is probably in all capital letters. That's not my name. It's two names in this court that sound exactly alike, and only one of them is mine. What name is on that paper y'all have over there? Is it in all capital letters? That's not my name. But it's my property. It's my trademark trade name, and I own it. Trademark trade, mark, trade name. Anybody has to use it from me. You know how your name is a trademark trade name. I am not a U.S. citizen, and I'm not a citizen of the United States. Then deport his ass immediately. I mean, seriously. If we deport about five or six of these soft said American state nationals, they'll stop telling people that they're not American citizens. I am not that person on that paper because that person is a fictitious entity. I am actually flesh and blood. I am a man standing on the land. Well, technically, you're sitting in what looks to be the wrong end of a glory hole in the bathroom at the Wayne County Jail. And that's what I got you. Do you understand that? I'm not here. I'm claiming not I, I to be here. I just wanted to know who you were. I just said you're stupid. Attorney Simon, thank you. 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 you want to speak to your client in private before we go on the record? Because he's still talking. He's still being stupid. Sorry, Judge. Can you repeat that, please? Do you want to speak to your client in private for a moment? Because he's had to stop talking for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, he's other still, he's still being a moron. I just saw him Monday at the jail, but, um, okay. Okay, because I don't think we can uh, have a hearing unless you understand that we can't, we all can't talk at the same time. All right, I'll do a breakout. I find it hilarious that his lawyer only needed one prior visit to realize that any one-on-one -on -one conversation with Carlos he would be more pointless. painful than pulling his own teeth out through his asshole. Okay, we're on the record. This is People versus Carlos Lorenzo Durham, case 225974. This is Lorenzo, sorry, Mr. Durham is charged with Being one count of police officer assaulting, resisting, and obstructing. The habitual, habitual offender fourth defense notice. Also, case 2258771, People versus Carlos Lorenzo Duro. Mr. Durham is charged with count one, weapons, firearms, possession by a felon. Count two, weapons, felony firearms. Count three, weapons, ammunition, possession by a felon. Count four, weapons, felony firearms. Count five, carry concealed. Count six, police officer assaults and resistance. God damn, Fourth notice. Today is day set for a Only the 40th notice. Alexander Kirk, I'm the people. Eight, eight, six, two, eight. Good morning, Ryder Jonathan Simon. P35596 for Mr. 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 Dick Shit. And Mr. Durham, can you take your name, please? Oh, sure. Dip. Oh, really?
Wait a second. Didn't you just say your name was Objection? Objection. And at this point, Carla, she really need to take advantage of that shut the fuck up filter that you have before she holds you in contempt of court and you end up spending more time in jail. My name is not Mr. and I've never spelled it in all capital letters. I keep explaining that to y'all, but y'all insist. I'm that dead entity on that piece of paper and I'm not. Sounds like name? you're a stupid idiot. His name is Your Honor, and shut the fuck up. Did you take the oath of the Constitution, ma'am? Well, did you take the oath of violating my constitutional rights in conspiracy with the prosecutor and the Detroit police? I'm trying to tell you what I'm getting here, that Mr. Durbin is not present. No, I'm not Mr. I can enter a habeas because that's not Mr. Durbin. Gosh, maybe we could have a competency referral. He knows what he's doing. Exactly. <laughs> he's doing this shit. Like he knows what he's doing. Just like the last two, isn't here to play Sovereign Citizen Lightbright with the single digit IQ towards of Michigan. All right, so that's what we're going to end the video today. Yeah, I like that one. There he knows what he's doing. There were a few more back and forth between the attorney and the judge as they set up his competency hearing to determine if he's an incompetent human with the mental capacity of a shit slug. Or if he's a competent shit slug with the physical features of a human. So if you like the video, leave a Thank you very much, Father Skeptic. We definitely appreciate you for being around with us this evening. And for everyone else, make sure you do like, share, and subscribe. Help us get to that goal of 50,000 views, which we're within the last thousand or so to do. So let's make that happen. And of course, click the like, uh, share button. So more people sign up. And of course, Google puts us on the algorithms. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching from day one. Have a great day and may all your fights be good.